Hey guys. Okay. So we are going to start practicing a Smarty Sheet. Um, a Smarty Sheet is what you can do when you go into the testing um, room. And as soon as they give you paper and pencil, you can start making one of these from your memory. We can't make one ahead of time and take it, but you can. We've been working on multiplication charts all year long. So that should be an easy thing to do for you to remember. Um, now you might get paper that looks like this with the uh, grid. Um, it's called graph paper. If you get that, that's great. That's even better to do a multiplication chart. But if not, you guys have been using paper all year, so you should know how to do a multiplication chart. So you're going to get paper when you go in there to do your test. You're going to, as soon as you get your paper while they're passing everything out, um, you're going to start working on the Smarty Sheet. Now, again, you cannot do this ahead of time. Like, you have to wait until you get into the testing room, until the test administrator, the person doing the test, gives you paper and pencil, and then you can start doing it, okay? Um, you can put anything down on here once you get into the testing room that is going to help you ace this test, right? So you have your multiplication chart, okay? We do 1 through 12. I've already done one for you guys, so you don't have to sit and watch me make another one. Um, but so that's your multiplication chart. And this is for you to, well, no multiplication facts, help you reduce fractions, help you divide. So that is why this is here. Some other things that you can remember to put on there are just anything that, that can remind you of what things definitions are. So if we put mean, that's going to be fair share. The average. Okay. Um, mode is most. Range. Difference. And the variation. Um, main, mode, range, median is middle. Now, when you make it, you want to try to be as neat as you can so you can actually use it. Um, trying to make sure I'm putting stuff in there that I hope oh, this would be a good one. So, as you do it, you sort of want to box it up. Um, with your pencil so everything doesn't bleed together. So if you have, let's just okay, remember that if you have a number there, you want to put your one, zero, 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 so you can know that the five is in the tenths place, the zero is in the hundredths place, and the six is in the thousandths place. Okay. Um, we really want to remember King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. Okay. This is how you can convert your metric liters, meters, and um, grams. So just make sure you put that and you're good to go. You can put a circle. Um, actually, yeah, we'll put a circle right here. So if you have all right, so this is the center. This is the diameter. This is the cord. This is the radius. And going around is the circumference. Okay. All right. Um, we could remember 
some basic um, fractions to decimals. Oops, don't we? Okay. Let's see. One six. Now, make sure to pause the video um, while you're getting all this down. You don't want to. I mean, you might want to take a break because, phew. Okay. Let's see. I'm pause it. I cannot pause it from there. Okay. We'll just keep going. Um, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses. Exponents. Multiply. Divide, add, subtract. We're going to do left to right, right? Okay. What else could we put on here? So think about what else we could put on here. Um, oh, you know what I should have added? So what if you had like... Okay, so when you're dividing those des those fractions to decimals. Oh, yeah, this would be a good one. Um, let's see. Quotient equals divide product equals multiply okay um I'm gonna add I'm gonna circle these because you do multiply divide then add subtract When you have a multiplying fraction, you um, put the one under there. Let's see. Try to make sure I don't miss anything on these. From Oops, is one and itself composite two, three, I guess three or more. Zero and one are neither. Okay. And you can put oops, I mean there are just so many things you could oh I would like to put um, if you have 22 over 7 if you have you know, a mixed or an improper fraction and you need to get to a mixed number you divide Um, if you have a, for your fraction, you do the M. And let's see. 
to do that. This is not working out. Oh. Dividing decimals. We didn't spend too much time on this. Dividing um, decimals by decimals. Remember, you move that decimal to the end, and then you move this one one spot. Okay. All right. I think that's about it. Let me double check. Oh, you know what else we could put? Perimeter equals add all size. Area equals length times width. Volume equals length times width times height. And area of a triangle equals half base times height. All right, y'all. I think that's pretty good. That is pretty in a nutshell, everything that we have um, talked about this nine weeks or this year. Okay, so you will, we're going to practice this pretty much every day um, from here on out until we take the math as well. So have fun and um, be ready to write this down. And, and I will tell you, though, when we do it, so the first time you do it today, I hope that you have written down your multiplication chart. Um, and then after that, you can count down 12 lines, fill in your box, and just practice writing this down, okay? So I'll do that. I'll talk about that on the next one. All right. I'll talk to you guys later.